Good morning. It is Friday, June 22nd, and I am Pete Dragstrom from LetPetePlan at gmail.com, an agent for Boardwalk Travel Agency. Uh, we're going to talk a little Disney news today. Uh, a few things came up. Um, I don't make it a habit of this because I know there's a lot of places. Matter of fact, I go to other spots, uh, 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 sites to, to get my Disney news. Um, I don't just go and talk to Bob Iger and just say, hey, what's new? Um, or Josh or any of the other um, executives that are still there. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be talking about Walt well, Disney World in particular in, in, in depth. We, I personally don't get into politics, uh, you know, ex executive moves or anything I just <laughs> mentioned. So uh, we will not be talking about the governor. We will not be talking about uh, the CFO, whatever. Um, we are going to be talking about what's going on in the parks and Disney Springs. And we're going to start off with Disney Springs because yesterday, I think it was, or a couple of days ago, it was announced that the Flavors of Florida 2023 is going to be returning to Disney Springs. Um, it is sponsored by Corksicle. Um, and uh, there are, it looks like, merchandise that is there um not going to go into um um uh, uh, all the menus but i will talk about some of the uh, people the restaurants that are going to be participating amaret's patisserie the boathouse um chef's chef art smith's homecoming that looks like Chicken Guy, City Works, and Poor uh, Eatery and Poor House, um, uh, the Coca Cola Store, Rooftop Beverage Bar, Deluxe Burger, Dockside Margaritas, The Edison, uh, Enzo's Hideaway, Everglazed, uh, Frontera Cochina, The Ganachery, um, Gideon's, um, House of Blues, Haleo by Jose Andres, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, Joffrey's, Morimoto Asia, Paddlefish, Pizza Ponte, The Polite Pig, one of my favorites. Raglan Road, another favorite. Rainforest Cafe, not a favorite. <laughs> uh, salt and Straw. Meh. Okay. Spice and Tea Exchange, Splitsville. STK Orlando. Sunshine Churros. Swirls on the Water. Terralina Crafted Italian. T-Rex. Vivola il gelato. Pardon the pronunciation. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I'm sorry. Wine bar, wine bar George. Um, and restaurant and bar, by the way. In Yasaki, Florida. Outdoor bars throughout Disney's Springs. Um, we'll all be participating, it looks like. Um, as I said, this was this went on, I think, for the first time last year. Uh, I do remember it being advertised. We weren't here in July as much as we were in June. Um, so I do remember it being advertised. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming that was the first year. Um, but it was announced that it is returning um, as of yesterday. I, I mean... So it'll be starting on July 1st, which is ironically only a few few days away. Uh, we have 30 days in June, so we have eight more days in June. So you're talking about a little, little bit more than a week away before 
July will be starting. Now, uh, go on to some more. Um, we're going to switch over to Epcot. And we're going to talk about something that's going to be happening later in the... Well, first of all, we're going to talk about some of the things that are going on in the International Flower and Garden Festival. Uh, it looks like most of the merchandise um, is now going to be 30% off. Um, that includes... Um, we looked at the Orange Bird Spirit Jersey. Dooney and Burke bags were discounted. Um, these were all um, things that looked like, looks like it's in um, the Creation Store um, in Epcot. And it looks like some of the, yeah, it looks like most of the um, Flower and Garden things are going to be at 30% off, which makes sense. It is almost... The Flower Garden Festival is almost over. Um, so if you want to get some uh, Flower Garden merch and you are in the area and you want to stop by, um, it looks like Creation um, Gift Shop in, in um, Epcot, uh, it looks like you have... They're, they're running some 30% off sales. I don't know if that includes with your annual pass discount, but I do know that till the end of until the end of uh, June, uh, annual pass holders you can get a good 30% in there. Now I don't know if you, you can double up. Usually you can't, but if you could, that means 60% off. Wow, that would have been that would have been kind of awesome, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so we're going to stay in, um, the, uh, Epcot and we are noticing, there have been some notices of some of the international food and wine festival booths have been arriving at the World Showcase. Now that doesn't mean they're open yet. It just means that they're com the the booths themselves are coming, and it looks like uh, Belgium is going to be with us. Um, it'll be uh, between the Morocco and France pavilions. Um, uh, it has been a staple since 2010. In Ireland, which will probably be somewhere over near, oh, that's what I was thinking. It's going to be uh, near, uh, it's going to be at the UK Pavilion, um, the uh, Irish, the Ireland Marketplace. And it has been around pretty much since 2001. They did have a year off in 2020, but then again, so did a lot of places because of, um, COVID reasons. India will be over by, I'm guessing, China. And I was right uh, just before you hit the bridge. Um, uh, India, then Kenya, uh, which will be um, uh It's only been around for a couple of years. It used to be a part of the what was called the Africa Marketplace, which has been around since 1997. And then you have the Alps, um, representing Nepal and all those things. And it, um, it's been up here for, this will be the fifth year. Um, it's right next to uh, the German Germany Pavilion stage. Um, and you have Spain, and it's between Italy and Germany. Um, it's been around um, quite a while, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I know I've seen it. Um, and that's some of the ones that are there. Plus, you also know each of the world pavilions probably have something of their own. Um, uh, there will probably be more coming. 
uh, as we speak. Um, as I said, it starts on July 27th and doesn't end till later in November. So you have wide area and actually with the <laughs> food and wine especially around, some of the some of the things is when you when you start in early July I mean late July and go through some of the hot wet months um, hopefully by the time it's over you can get to um, experience some of those wonderful uh, warmer uh, <laughs> um, foods um, like the uh, cheddar cheese soup from Canada uh, from that's from Le Cellier but it's I think there's a there's a um, booth that has it sometimes they don't usually start it until um, until um, uh, later like October or something it's just so for more of the uh, because who really wants to be eating hot soup um, on a warm, warm day? Now, a um, couple of other things I want to talk to you about. Well, at least one more. Um, in the Magic Kingdom, uh, they have roped off um, they have roped off um, the Cinderella fountain um, and drained it uh, at the Magic Kingdom. Now, if, for those of you who don't know where the Cinderella fountain is, it's um, near the in, back end of the castle. Um, it uh, is near the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boop. Uh, Bibbidi. I guess that's what they would call it. I got um, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, excuse me. Um, it, right near there. Um, it is a cool little fountain and it shows, of course, Cinderella, who's kind of with some of her animal friends that are around. And um, it's very intricate and it's a good place to just kind of cup squat on the flat shelf while you're waiting for other people to, or just having a nice little break uh you can't do that now because it's as i said it's roped off you can still see it you can still take pictures of it you just can't you know think. now it's as they said it's probably for refurbishment um either for the fountain itself although that they did drain it makes me think that they are going to do some kind of a refurbishment on it so the ropes might be replaced by those little green walls sometimes that they do to you know, uh, hide the construction. Um, but uh, right now, it's just roped off as of, I think, yesterday. Who knows? They might have the green walls up by today. I don't know. I have not been there. Um, uh, I will report back to you when the next time I go into Magic Kingdom, whether it's still roped off or still... You know still being worked on and see see what we can find out um, uh, there are a few other things out there um, uh, Disney 100 uh, decades collection uh, of, from of, from lounge fly um, added uh, the 1960s. Um, looks like um, 101 Dalmatians, Jungle Book ears, um, sort of thing. Uh, you can get um, you can get these at um, probably any place that sells lounge fly in the parks which is pretty much every place, <laughs> every uh, major um, gift shop has a lot of these things in it. Now, these are specially made for the 100th anniversary, and as I said, they're going for a um, 
decades issue, I think that means, well, I know that means they have from other decades, from I think as far back as the 20s with a lot of Steamboat Willie stuff. Um, it says, oh yeah, okay, uh, as I said, the first of the uh, Disney 100 um, decades collection was the 1920s, of course, uh, inspired by Steamboat Willie. The 30s was inspired by Snow White and Seven Dwarves, the band concert, and more classic characters. 40s collection, uh, Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Scrooge McDuck. Um, 50s collection focused on Goofy, Alice in Wonderland, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and of course, Cinderella. And then um, we talked about the 60s. It is mainly... Um, 101 Dalmatians in the Jungle Book. Uh, the 70s is coming up, and it looks like um, it's going to include the Muppets. Um, uh, no, no mention of the 80s or 90s yet, um, or even, even beyond. But that, so far, is what they've got. Um, now, for, uh, I would not be surprised if you uh, see a little bit more, if, if, if they do go through the 90s, you'll, you'll see probably, 80s and 90s, you'll probably see more of the um, Rescue Rangers, um, DuckTales type things going on. Uh, not that they don't already have uh, lounge flies out for that, for those of you um, who are into the lounge fly, um, explosion, <laughs> um, everybody has those little mini backpacks, um, and it's not just for women anymore, um, so, uh, that's that, um, now, I am going to go back and remind you of a few, um, few uh, deals going on um, as we speak. Um, don't forget the Disney Plus subscribers can you, you can save up to 35% on rooms. Also there is a save up to 25% on rooms during select uh, at select Disney Resort hotels. These are for the holiday seasons. Um, I do know that um, Disney annual pass holders um, can get up to 40% off on some stays at Walt Disney World coming up uh, during the holiday season. Um, so those are just some things that you want to keep in mind. And if you do want to book a reservation or a, or, or a vacation at Walt Disney World or Universal Orlando, contact me, Pete Drackstrom, at let Pete plan, all one word, all lowercase, at gmail.com. And I'm an agent for Boardwalk Travel Agency, and I... I'm going to wish you a magical day. See you in the park.